Top Most Asked DBMS-Based Interview Questions and Answers for Beginners DBMS stands for Database Management System. It is system software for creating and managing databases system. It is manipulates the data itself, the data format, field names, record structure and file structure. It is mainly used for ability to store related data across multiple tables. Since there are so many database management systems available, it is important for there to be a way for them to communicate with each other. Their main database organizations are Relational DBMS Flat Database Network Databases Graph Databases ER Model Databases Document Databases Hierarchical Database Object-Oriented Database what is database? A database is defined as a systematic collection of data where you can easily fetch information or data. A database is made up of different fields, record and files. Or Database is structured store of index data that allows easy insertion, deletion and updating of data. What is DBMS? DBMS is a system software. It is a collection of programs that enables user to create, store, modify and maintain a database. In other words, it is general purpose software that provides the users with the processes of defining, constructing and manipulating the database for various applications. Example, MySQL, Oracle, SQL's server, DBase, Teradata, FoxPro, DB2, NoSQL, IMS Cloud, IMS, CDMS etc. What are main users of DBMS? Online users Native users Application programmers Database admin, DBA End user Sophisticated users and more What are the advantages of DBMS? Redundancy is controlled Unauthorized access is restricted Providing multiple user interfaces Enforcing integrity constraints Providing backup and recovery What are the important components of DBMS? Hardware Software Data Procedures User Database access language What are the uses of DBMS? It is easy to understand Strictly secured Effective in data management Sharing information in different systems Best access to accurate data in searching Facility of better decision making How many types of database languages are? There are four types of database languages 1. Data Definition Language, DDL, for example Create, Alter, Drop etc. 2. Data Manipulation Language, DML, for example Select, Update insert etc 3 data control language dcl for example grant and revoke 4 transaction control language tcl for example commit and roll back what is dml data manipulation language this language that enable user to access or manipulate data as organized by appropriate data model procedural dml or low level DML requires a user to specify what data are needed and how to get those data. Non-procedural DML or high-level, DML requires a user to specify what data are needed without specifying how to get those data. What is normalization? Normalization is a process of analyzing the given relation schemas according to their functional dependencies. It is used to minimize redundancy and also minimize insertion, deletion and update distractions. What is denormalization? Denormalization is the process of boosting up database performance and adding of redundant data which helps to get rid of complex data. What are the advantages of normalizing a database? Advantages of normalizing database are as follows. Prevents duplicate entries. Conserves storage space. Improves the performance of queries. Describe the levels of data abstraction. They are three levels of abstraction. Physical level, the lowest level of abstraction describes how data are stored. Logical level, the next higher level of abstraction, 
describes what data are stored in database and what relationship among those data. View level, the highest level of abstraction describes only part of entire database. What is RDBMS? Relational Database Management System, RDBMS, is a database management system, DBMS, that is based on the relational model. Data from relational database can be accessed or reassembled in many different ways without having to reorganize the database tables. Data from relational database can be accessed using an API, Structured Query Language, SQL. What is a database transaction? Database transaction takes database from one consistent state to another. At the end of the transaction the system must be in the prior state if the transaction fails or the status of the system should reflect the successful completion if the transaction goes through. Explain the integrity rules. There are two integrity rules. 1. Entity integrity, states that primary key cannot have null value. 2. Referential integrity, states that foreign key can be either a null value or should be primary key value of other relation. What is data independence? Data independence means that the application is independent of the storage structure and access strategy of data. In other words, the ability to modify the schema definition in one level should not affect the schema definition in the next higher level. Two types of data independence. One. Physical data independence, modification and physical level should not affect the logical level. 2. Logical data independence, modification in logical level should affect the view level. What is a view? How it is related to data independence? A view may be thought of as a virtual table, that is, a table that does not really exist in its own right but is instead derived from one or more underlying base table. In other words, there is no stored file that direct represents the view instead a definition of view is stored in data dictionary. Growth and restructuring of base tables is not reflected in views. Thus the view can insulate users from the effects of restructuring and growth in the database. Hence accounts for logical data independence. What is extension and intention? Extension it is the number of tuples present in a table at any instance. This is time dependent. Intention, it is a constant value that gives the name, structure of table and the constraints laid on it. What is data warehousing? Storage and access of data from the central location in order to take some strategic decision is called data warehousing. Enterprise management is used for managing the information whose framework is known as data warehousing. What do you mean by index hunting? Indexes help in improving the speed as well as the query performance of database. The procedure of boosting the collection of indexes is named as index hunting. How does index hunting help in improving query performance? Index hunting helps in improving the speed as well as the query performance of database. The followed measures are achieved to do that. The query optimizer is used to coordinate the study of queries with the workload and the best use of queries suggested based on this. Index, query distribution along with their performance is observed to check the effect. Tuning databases to a small collection of problem queries is also recommended. What is data model? A collection of conceptual tools for describing data, data relationships, data semantics and constraints. What is object-oriented model? This model is based on collection of objects. An object contains values stored in instance variables within the object. An object also contains bodies of code that operate on the object. These bodies of code are called methods. Objects that contain same types of values and the same methods are grouped together into classes. What is B-trees? A data structure in the form of tree which stores sorted data and searches, insertions, sequential access and deletions are allowed in logarithmic time. What is fragmentation? Fragmentation can be defined as a database feature of server that promotes control on data which is stored at table level by the user.
What is database partitioning? Division of logical database into independent complete units for improving its management, availability and performance is called database partitioning. What is the importance of partitioning? Splitting of one table which is large into smaller database entities logically is called database partitioning. Its benefits are To improve query performance in situations dramatically when mostly rows which are heavily accessed are in one partition. Accessing large parts of a single partition. Slower and cheaper storage media can be used for data which is seldom used. What is difference between atomicity and aggregation? Atomicity, it's an all or none concept which enables the user to be assured of incomplete transactions to be taken care of. The actions involving incomplete transactions are left undone in DBMS. Aggregation, the collected entities and their relationship are aggregated in this model. It is mainly used in expressing relationships within relationships. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com